am Dr. Darnie L. Payton, and my purpose is to educate, encourage, and enlighten. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I am so grateful that you are here. Today, we are continuing the series five tips for tax prep and organization. And I still have with me my very special guest, Ms. Selena Long. And in a moment, she's going to tell you a little bit about herself. But if you've not watched the other four parts in this series, where we talked about gathering your receipts and your donations, how much they're worth, and again, how badly she hurt our feelings on, on them not being worth as much as we thought they were. Or if we were talking about specifically for business owners, uh, in part three and then part four, we talked a little bit about budgeting and bookkeeping. Today, we're going to wrap it up, put a nice bow on it and talk about the tips for organizing for tax prep and organization for next year so you don't end up in that no scramble zone. All right, so Ms. Long, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, hello, Dr. Payton. Thank you so very much for having me here again. And it was such a great conversation. We've been having such a great conversation, but I am Selena Long. I am a professional organizer that deals with clients, seniors primarily, and their families. And the goal is to really help them to age in place, right? As long as they want to stay in that home, but as well as we have clients to down, they downsizing, they're moving with family members or into assisted living. And our goal is to, help them organize and work through that process as simply as possible. So we want, again, we want to wrap up uh, this series. And first of all, thank you all for supporting us through this. It has been so much fun. And we're going to have her back again um, on my channel. But today we're going to wrap up the tips for uh, tax prep and organization and kind of just tie it all together with what we've already told you. So this is a wrap up sort of. So part one, we talked about gathering those receipts, uh, making sure that you have them in a specific place. Uh, Ms. Long talked about highlighting and itemizing and, you know, making, again, keeping it simple by with your storage solution. She had the nice little box where she keeps all of hers um, so that it's portable and it's safe. We talked about, um, she gave a great suggestion on keeping a box for your donations by your door so that you can gather them all. And then perhaps quarterly, you know, you take that to your don donation site. And then we talked about specifically for business owners, some things that they could do so that they don't miss out on opportunities that may come up again, something like the PVP, or just if you need to get financing for your business. And then we talked about bookkeeping more on the budgeting side for everyone on making sure, first of all, that you have a budget, right? And as long as the first thing is that you want to first. start, you want to start on that budget. And then she gave some tips on um, bookkeeping as well. So you can go back and watch the first four parts of this series and get all of that wonderful information. And again, our goal was to keep it simple, help you to be organized and prepared for when tax time comes. So Ms. Long, what? So our goal for this series was to make sure that they have everything in place so that they feel empowered and they build in success. And specifically, so if you're not able to do all the things that we talked about right now, which we encourage you to do, we both encourage you to start right now, but next year, you won't have to do that end of the year uh, scramble, right? Um, right? So let's just talk about, um, again, the things that they can do or maybe highlight some things um, from the previous sessions uh, that we talked about in the videos. Anything you, you want to highlight or anything that you think that we missed that they would need to um, um, that we could talk about. Yeah. Um, so I would say definitely, if we were to highlight, definitely get all of these things are really creating habits, right? Get into the habit of one, putting your receipts together, mm -hmm. the donations, right? Getting those donations out throughout the year rather than waiting until at the ending of the year and then you're scrambling to get those donations out. Um, as far as business owners, yes, definitely putting in yourself in place so that you can take advantage of some of the resources, some of, you know, the, the things that may be out there for you to take advantage of as a business owner. And then having that budget, having that budget, like you said, the budget is not a monster, it's not to keep you away, right? It's actually to empower you to know, yes, I have this dispensable right this discretionary dispensable income that i hey i can either put it into savings or you know what i can invest it 
but at least it's empowering you so that you're able right to now manage your money versus your mon- money managing you right mm-hmm. yeah um yeah. yes and I, I was like we could tie it up to say we've given you some really beneficial and um and strategic tips and strategies that you can use but on a personal side um you know it's it can be a stressful time it's been a stressful time uh, for the past 22 months or so so also make sure that you practice some good self-care right you want to make sure that you're managing your stress and if you do the things that we talked about in this series that will go a long way towards doing that but also you've worked you know you've worked you put in the effort um you've sacrificed the time and and you know you've built your business or you're working at your job and you're taking care of your family but self-care is so important and so after you've done all the things that we've talked about make sure that you take some time to enjoy the fruit of your labor that could be um, doing something that you really you know always wanted to do that could be an at-home spa that could be you know rewarding yourself with some of those savings that you've used because you were so organized that, you know, your budget, you were telling your money what to do. And so you have a little, as she said, you know, of that disposable discretionary income that you can do something fun. And I don't know about you, but watching money grow is fun to me. So like she said, saving it, it we're not encouraging you to go out and spend it all. But, you know, practicing that self-care. What do you think about that, Ms. Long? Yes, I absolutely. I, I, I tell people that self-care is the best insurance for peace of mind, right? I absolutely, so I absolutely say when you put those things in place, that definitely is, you're honoring yourself. You're taking care of yourself. So I absolutely agree with you um, You. in terms of that. Yes. It would have been kind of awkward if she had said, no, Dr. Payton, I don't agree with anything. I I don't agree with that at all. (laughs) You know me, I would have left it in because I don't like to edit. All right. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, we really, and as you can see, we're, we're having a good time as we're, um, we're doing this. And we want that for you, right? We know, again, tax time can be stressful. But if you just do these ve- really simple things, and this is not just for taxes. This is just in life. And um, we called it tax prep and organization, but it could have just de- definitely been life prep and organization or um, self prep and organization. We just happen to talk about tax- taxes because, you know, tax season is coming up. But we want to make sure, and we hope that has been helpful to you. And if there's something that we missed, or is there something, if there's something that you can add to the conversation, we would greatly appreciate, you know, you letting us know, drop that in the comments and let us continue this dialogue. Um, so that's what we wanted to do. We just wanted to wrap it up for you to remind you to make sure that you gather those receipts and you have them in a place where they're safe and accessible, uh, that you have your donations ready for tax time and that you make sure that they are worth what they're actually worth and not what you want them to be worth. Again, remember she broke our hearts with that 25 to 40% depreciation. Okay. It's real. Um, and then we talked specifically to, to our fellow business owners and we are praying for your success. We are hoping that this really, really blesses you so that you can contribute um, and help others. Because I know Ms. Long can say the same thing, that neither of us does our business just for us. Um, We want to see that we can bless multiple people by the things that we do. So we want to, you know, encourage you to do that as well. And then we talked about bookkeeping, basically budgeting, making sure that you have one, making sure that you follow it uh, so that you can reap the benefits of all of your, uh, your labor. And now we're just wrapping it up with, you know, talking to, Uh, to you about all the things that you need to do and especially um, practicing some great self-care. I like how she um, said that that that's akin to the best insurance for peace of mind. Um, So, you know, while we're praying that we will have peace of mind, we can do some things here ourselves to ensure that we do. And so um, our goal is for you after this series to not end up in that uh, scramble zone next year, start implementing the small steps that we've given you And again, if there's something that we've missed or something that you would like for us to talk about more, um, please feel free to let us know. I'm sure she'd be happy. Look at me telling her sure she'd be happy to come back and visit. (laughs) No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Um, No problem. Um, But it has been a joy and a pleasure to have Ms. Long um, participate in this series. She was, her information was invaluable and I'm so grateful and gracious 
um, that she was so gracious to give of her time because she is one woman who's on a mission and she works wonderfully well with her clients. So please reach out to her if she can be of assistance to you. So there you have it. This is the end of the series. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, Ms. Long, thank you again. You're so welcome. I have absolutely enjoyed it. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. And for you all watching this, thank you for taking the time uh, to uh, invest your time in this series. Um, I want you to know that I appreciate you so much. And I'm so grateful that you stopped by my channel. Before you leave, give this video a thumbs up turn on the bell notification and do me one favor. Tell at least five people you know about my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Ms. Long's information will be in the description box. And if you'd like to reach out to me, you can do so at drdclutter.com. That's doctor, the letter D, the word clutter.com. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And I want you to know that if no one has told you today how awesome you are, that you are absolutely positively awesome. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye.